Hey everyone, welcome to today's video. Welcome to the Video Game Fight School channel. I'm Emake with the Gamey Daddy channel. I'm a content creator on that platform. You can call me Gamey Daddy if you want to as well. And this is the Video Game Fight School channel where we bring to you guys all of our superhero nerdisms and everything that we love about superhero games. And we've decided that this platform should be the hub to bring like-minded gamers. And today, what we're doing is we're gonna be looking at Batman Arkham City as I walk through this game with a good friend of mine, Mr. Fat Ninja DM, who is a superhero buff, but is not necessarily 100% sold on the Arkham games. My goal is that in walking through this game with him, we can actually get him to perhaps be a Batman fan. Now, a few caveats before I get Mr. Fat Ninja in here is, we made the executive decision to go with footage from the game of my playthrough on PlayStation 4, where I played the Batman Return to Arkham series, uh, because on the PC version, while we're doing our last uh, recording, we ran into some technical difficulties, and we apologize for that, but I don't know what's happened to the PC version of mine that I have, but thankfully, I have the game fully played and beaten uh, from my PlayStation 4, and we have all that footage, which we're going to be showing you here as we walk through the game and talk about game mechanics and all of that. Now that that's out of the way, let us uh, hear from Mr. Fat Ninja DM. For those of you who do not know who he is, Mr. Fat Ninja, introduce yourself to these family people. Let them know who you are, sir. All right. What's going on, everybody? I'm Fat Ninja DM, 23-year game master of Dungeons & Dragons and various other role-playing games. And my motto is this, social enlightenment through positive gaming. That means if you're cool with people when you're playing online games, Hopefully there won't be as many pricks in the world as we see right now in the current state of the world in 2020. And uh, just a fellow nerd, nerded arm, so to speak. And I'm just really honored and privileged to join Gammy Daddy on this journey, uh, showing me the ins and outs of the Batman games and just to flat out nerd out. So without further ado, Gammy Daddy, let's, uh, let's uh, get into this. All right. All right. Cool beans. So. We were here um, when we talked about our last set of discussions. We talked about story. We talked about even how good this story was, where Batman was up against, you know, the entirety of this Arkham villainy that they put in the game. Basically, what Mr. Fat Ninja calls, um, you know, the the villain uh, repertoire, whatever it is. I don't know. What, what's that name you call it with the the rogue gallery? Yeah. That, that, to me, is one of the catchiest phrases I've ever heard of a collection of bosses. And we even juxtapose this game with what the Spider-Man game is trying to do because the new Spider-Man game that is being released very soon is Spider-Man Miles Morales. And in the case of Batman, the new Batman-themed game that's coming out is Gotham Knights. Now, we say it's a Batman-themed game because... It's a Batman themed game. I mean, how it's not rocket science. <laughs> you know what I mean? Because, you know, you're looking at Batgirl, who's a protege of Batman. You're looking at Nightwing, Robin. You're also looking at Jason Todd, the Red Hood. These are Batman's four protégés. And yes, his relationships with them may have all been all over the place. But still, it's, it seems like the mantle is what developers and writers are trying to pass on so that, you know, perhaps a new generation of uh, comic book readers, a new generation of animated series viewers will start to enjoy this legacy from that perspective. And so, Mr. Ninja, now that we're here in Batman Arkham City and you look at these kinds of, uh, you know, situations that they put Batman in, you know, the, the odds are just all over the place. Do you think that, you know, the Gotham Knights, who are the four uh, protégés of Batman, do you think that they're going to stack the odds against them sufficiently to be able to challenge them if you're going to play a game like that? They have to because, you know, since you said earlier, you know, this, you know, it will be a Batman themed game. And that's what Batman is all about overcoming these totally insurmountable odds like even regular like actual superheroes like heroes with powers they probably look at batman sometimes like i don't know how the heck he does this this is crazy hmm. but you know because like you know superman you know how superman and batman have their relationship he says you know, superman's like well you know 
I just come to help out. I mm. think what Superman really is doing, he's just he's befuddled. Like as intelligent as Superman is, all his superpowers and all this other stuff, he is still trying to quote unquote figure out Batman. Like what truly makes him tick? And of course, you know there is a personal relationship between Bruce and Clark, but you know, with Clark being a Kryptonian, there's still that separation of being an alien as opposed to being a regular human being. And he's been, a, you know, been a, around the world and through universes and stuff like that. But there's still some things that are still lost to people that are from, you know, different worlds, you know, like um, take Martian Manhunter, for instance. He's a Martian. He's mm-hmm. in, you know, his his look is even more you know, wilder than anything Superman could ever be. So, mm-hmm. yes, he's been around humans too, but there's still things that are still lost on him. And, you know, that translate into the world of Batman, it has to be that way because that's what Batman is all about. He's always facing these crazy odds that nobody else could normally get themselves out of. So, yeah, when the new uh, Gotham Knights game comes out, it will be the exact same thing, especially because if Batman is dead, mm. as they've tout- touted already, the 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 uh, characters are going to feel overwhelmed because when things get down and things get tough, of course they always refer back to Batman. Batman's always got some words of wisdom or what have you to motivate them to success. But if he's not around. Mm-hmm. Now they're going to be put behind the eight ball and which I think is really, really good. You know, I'm not being uh, a hater on Batman, but I hope in this game he is dead, like for real. So, <laughs> so, so then the, you know, like you said, the proteges, they get mm-hmm. their time to shine. And I mean, they, they've had their time to shine, like in the comic book, but I'm talking about, somebody that has never picked up a comic book but still knows of the characters in the batman universe Mm. just to see them go off on their own and do their own thing and you know uh carve their own path Mm. you know in the in the video game universe so like i said please no no hateful comments (laughs) in the comment section (laughs) i don't mean it to be hating on batman but it's just like I like to see the protégés of a superhero be able to go off on their own and do their own thing. Uh, that's good. That's good. I mean, it's it's a hard premise, but, you know, for the sake of, you know, I, I guess for the sake of advancement, it has to somewhat happen. It has to be in a place where, and pardon me for those of you watching the gameplay, I had to, you know, my pride will not let me take a nail uh, and take any damage. I wanted to try my best to see as best I could do. So you're going to see all these restarts. But it's, it seems like you're, yeah, that, that, that's me, man. When I play Batman, I really want to play Batman right. And so, you know, I think you're, you're, you're very correct. You know, this Gotham Knights game, you know, really does have to, you know, mean it when they say Batman is dead. Now, you got to be really, really, uh, you know, of the, you know, the gutsy type to actually do that in a story where, you know, we have to look at this in context. Fans have been waiting for a Batman game, you know, for seven-ish years. You know, 2013 was when Batman Arkham Knight was last was released. And, you know, since then, let's just say 2000, the game, you know, maybe expires, whereas it's welcome out after two years. And look at that, 2015 and till now, we get no Batman game. And the very first thing that we see after five years is, if you're getting this message... <laughs> then Batman's like, he's dead. He sends a cold black. So that's a gutsy move. I mean, I see it as, okay, a necessary move, but it's a gutsy move. And it's nice to also hear somebody who's, you know, who doesn't really have, like, the fan bias actually talk about what might be good for the series, you know, from that perspective. Because a lot of Batman fans are, like, in denial. We are. I'm in denial. Like, I think Batman is going to drop from some... You know, he's going to hop out of some curtain going, yeah, I was just joking, guys. You know, (laughs) I just want to see how you guys are going to, you know, we're going to do without me. And, you know, truly, if you're going to maintain the severity of this, you know, you really want Batman to be dead or really presumed dead where there is like no hope that they're going to see this hero in in the game. And if you release if if and I say if. 
Uh, if you eventually reveal that he is not necessarily dead, then you have to be really convincing, which it's either you say he's truly dead and you don't give yourself that headache or you reveal that he's not dead and make it convincing enough, you know, for everyone who is, you know, who's a fan and who's seeing all of this, you know, from their own eyes. So that's a very, very interesting and astute observation. So let's talk about, you know, fight encounters. This whole gladiator pit that, you know, Batman is fighting in currently. Um, how is, oh, I earned a trophy here. Nice. I didn't even know. <laughs> how do you think they're going to do um, these kinds of challenges for the Gotham Knights? How, how do you think, uh, uh, do you think they want the characters to complement themselves? Or do you think they want them, they, they want you to, because people are, just hypothesizing how the gameplay will be. Maybe you pick one character, play that character through, and then you level the character up as your main, or maybe you play all characters throughout the story mission, you know, kind of, oh, uh, hey, Batgirl, can you can you hear me? Oh, what's your status on this? And then, you know, the game switches in a, in a nice way to Batgirl where you play a few missions with her. Do you think that these different villains in their own arches are going to face, you know, things like this in combat where they actually have to deal with a whole bunch of bad guys and overcome them. Do you think that is some, some sort of a requirement? Um, I don't, I wouldn't say a requirement per se, but it's still a part of what is, you know, the Batman and everything that goes along with him. Cause I mean, in every, every comic, every anime, every cartoon, what have you, there's going to be times where Batman is faced with something very, very challenging, whether it's a fight against a whole bunch of people or one big mega boss or whatever. That's just the way Batman is. And I'm really hoping, though, that in this new Arkham Knights game, I hope that they're able to have all the characters interact with each other. Like you said, like, um, say, say Nightwing needs to get into a high security facility like a prison or something you know he's not a hacker or anything but you know barbara is you know she yeah, you know her so. alter yeah her alter ego is the oracle for you know crying out loud so with her abilities she could you know like you said switch from nightwing to oracle or in this case batgirl to hack into the system so and then once she does that that allows nightwing to access the prison or whatever and then you switch back to, 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 to nightwing to continue but you know maybe damien is on the other side you know doing something maybe trying to infiltrate quietly to maybe snatch a uh a, 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 a vip or something mm. and now you go back to barbara again to you know, do another hacking mini game or however they do it to let him have access, and so then you say, okay, well we need a diversion now. Okay, here comes Red Hood. He comes in guns blazing, throwing grenades mm. and everything. Mm. You know, okay. just causing utter chaos. So then they're all working together because you know, since Batman quote unquote is dead, they have to rally together, and I. I think that would be a really good premise to follow on if they're saying that, you know, Batman is dead. That would really, truly kind of like cement that's like, wow, you know, we can't depend on Bruce anymore because he's actually gone. So I hope they go with that because that would be really sweet, I mm. I think, in my opinion. Well, that's that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool that you said that because, you know, if you say that they have to depend on themselves, then I think they might have a story a story arch or a story uh, justification for them to bring their, their multiplayer into the game. So what I mean by that is they've already said, you know, the, the game actually is going to have multiplayer. They did a showcase where they did a multiplayer showcase um, where Batman, you know, Barbara was going on this mission. And then, you know, your counterpart, whoever it is, your friend would just hop into the game uh, as another hero. And so perhaps that's probably what they're going to be able to use that to foster that the Gotham Knights are not in this themselves. They're actually working together to get, you know, uh, to get the, the, the task at hand accomplished, which is to temper down villains who already have a sense that Batman is dead, you know, from just overrunning Gotham. So, you know, these are very, very fine considerations so far. 
And, you know, I'm 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 really excited to see what Gotham Knights is going to bring, you know, especially in light of Batman Arkham City and the way Arkham City basically kind of put Batman in this uh, very weird and trepid situation. You know, he's running all over the place. He's making sure that, you know, he's taking care of police officers before he even gets to Penguin. And there are surprises as well that come after this entire gameplay sequence. And, you know, Batman is a one man army uh, himself. So he's, you know, not necessarily. I mean, he has help, but he's portrayed as a one man army. But these uh, these knights, these Gotham knights, uh, you know, Nightwing and Red Hood and Robin and Barbara. And by the way, Robin in this game is not going to be Damon. It's going to be Tim, even though they're using another universe where it's just Tim and it's not Tim, in, you know, in a relationship with Barbara. But. This is probably going to showcase that Batman is this one guy, but he's probably brought these four up to be able to rally together and work with each other and, you know, probably be able to temper, like I said, the villain takeover of uh, of Gotham. But anyways, let us stop this episode here. Um, this has been a lot of fun, you know, talking about these themes in light of um, of Gotham Knights. And I do appreciate you, Mr. Fat Ninja. And those of you who've been, you know, clicking these videos Yes, we are looking at your comments. We are seeing that, you know, you guys are watching. Uh, we really do appreciate you guys a lot. Let us know, um, you know, in the comment section, let us know what we could do better, what themes you want us to touch on. Um, if you're listening to this while driving, we appreciate you so much for even doing so. Thank you. That is exactly what we, we intend this for, that you're able to kind of take this uh, short podcast, uh, podcast format along with you wherever you go. Anyways, we'll see hopefully in the next episode, Mr. Fat Ninja, go ahead and tell him goodbye. And hopefully, ladies and gentlemen, we'll be seeing you all soon. All right, folks, Fat Ninja DM here, chilling like a super villain. And when you least expected it, I just stole your critical hit Woo. and your sandwich. <laughs> Later, folks.